The weekend's big TV moment after a year of build-up. New Top Gear finally launched on Sunday. Host Chris Evans, Matt LeBlanc, taking over from Clarkson Hammond and May. Nearly 4.4 million. How many times have you heard that figure this week? 4.4 million tuned in to watch. Significantly down on previous seasons. The response was interesting. Actually, 4.4 million is half of what Britain's Got Talent final got, actually, when you put it in context like that. But there's still plenty of vitriol and social media with most of the anger directed at Chris Evans' presenting style and what seemed to be a general feeling that the show was some kind of imitation of its former self. Others were more positive with praise for Matt LeBlanc, which you'll have heard, and the new spin-off show, Extra Gear. What did you reckon, Joe? Uh, I think it was always going to be on our hiding for nothing. I think people were queuing up to kick Top Gear uh, from the off, and I think some of the criticism from uh, from colleagues has been unfair. I, but, you know, the points of the fact that Chris Evans and Matt LeBlanc had no chemistry are, are valid. I mean, it looked like they'd met in the lift on the way down. I mean, it really was quite <laughs> awkward television. And, and it was surprising because Chris Evans looks so nervous, but he's one of the nation's greatest broadcasters. When I you like think the of his fact career. that he was nervous because it shows a bit of humility. I guess so, but if humility means that you shout and run around a lot, perhaps you should <laughs> kind of tone that down next week. But the, the shouting I could not understand. Chris Evans no. one of the greatest broadcasters. I, I'm myself very prone to shouting. But for him to do live, that, 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 the live studio stuff, I thought someone afterwards had gone, do you know what, that's not good enough, we need to redo that. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised how it turned out. But look, it's early days. If you look at the first episodes of Top Gear, if you look back at that, you know, yeah. Hammond, uh, Hammond, uh, the, the, the original trio didn't have that rapport and easygoing chemistry. That takes time to build. And I don't think you can judge it on one mm. episode. But I do think that Matt LeBlanc's a real fine because I think everyone, as soon as you heard that Matt LeBlanc had been cast as a new presenter, you were, what, Joey from Friends? I mean, what, what's this all about? But he had this deadpan delivery. He was witty. He obviously knew his stuff. I mean, I thought he was excellent. And, and Laura, he'll help sell that. it to the international audience, which yeah. is crucial with Top Gear. Absolutely. There's no way the show is going to...